Hi guys, how you doing today? Um, I thought I just might add this little clip in here, a little bit different, but uh, go and goes along with what I do. Um, <clears throat> kind of a dreary, yucky day today, and I knew I had to go out and do the groceries and chores and errands and things like that, and I thought, I think I'm going to make myself smile a little bit having to do this, and I'm going to drive over to the little town. It's about 20 minutes from us here in Tennessee, because they have my favorite. Let's see if I can get a view of this. I don't know if you can see it, because I'm not looking, but we're going to try. Now, I'm not driving. I'm in my car, but I'm not driving. I'm parked, but I stopped over at the Goodwill store. And I love this little Goodwill store because attached to the side of it, they have a Goodwill Bargain Center. And in that Bargain Center, they put a lot of their items that they don't sell very fast or if it's chipped or broken or what have you, and they don't think they can sell it for very much, they stick it over there. And they just kind of stuff bins and bins full of things. So it's like a, a pick party. You got to pick through to find what you want. Now, usually if I make a day to come over here, I never seem to have any luck. But if I do a spur of the moment thing like this. It just seems like I always find something. And now I'm telling you, it's the very end of October. I'll admit it when I'm, when I'm clipping this. And, and like I said, it was a spur of the moment. I thought, you know, I'm over here. I'm going to clip this, but I'm thinking I'm going to be doing a lot of Christmas DIYs through the month of November because everybody's going to be getting ready for Christmas. And I don't like making things a week or so before Christmas because you want to have it out there to enjoy it before Christmas. So I thought maybe if I'm over here, I can find me a few little things. I've got some stuff in mind. Let's just hope I get lucky. So I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to go in there and see what I can find. And if I find something good, I'll kind of flip the court recorder on and I'll just get some shots of it. And Whatever I buy, I'll take home and I'll do kind of like a mini haul to go along with this. And then I'll tell you what I got in mind for what we're going to do in upcoming videos with DIYs. So y'all, let's go in the goodie store. Let's buy some stuff and then buy some more. Yeah, I know. Keep my day job. I can't sing. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see y'all in just a little bit. Thanks. I'm finally back home from my Goodwill haul that I started yesterday and kind of gave you little clips of the inside of the store and my cart, which was overflowing, my trunk, which was overflowing because I really totally hit the jackpot. And like I said, I generally hit the jackpot when it's a spur of the moment thing and luck be with me. It was a Sunday and they had in the regular store because it's two sections, as I told you. There's a bargain center on one side and then the regular Goodwill on the other. Um, they were having a 50% off red tag sale, so anything that I was able to find in there, red tag was half off, so that was even better. And I'm telling you, I, I, I have got a haul. Behind me um, is just my whole kitchen island, which is just crammed with everything I bought. But I wanted to... Um, show you some of the items that I got and some of the really, really fantastic deals you can get thrifting, yard selling, flea marketing, goodwilling. Um, some people love going to these places. Other people kind of say, ooh, I wouldn't buy anything from the Goodwill because why would you do that? Well, number one, it's just like a big indoor yard sale. Number two, you can find some things that even Goodwill doesn't realize is worth anything and it can be worth a lot of money. For example, I picked up in the bargain center these two beautiful pieces of pink see-through depression glass. Now this is from around the 1930s depression glass. I love to collect it. I just love the idea of it. I can um, remember my mom having some from my grandma, um, the history behind it, how you know average homes didn't have a lot of money for pretty glassware. 
So they would get this glassware from sometimes gas stations where they would get gas, things like that. They would get little punch cards, and if they bought so much, they would get these little pieces of depression glassware. And when I came home, I looked it up and found that together these two are around the price of $65, which is just about what I spent on this haul. So to put in my collection, I am so excited for myself that, you know, as the years go by, it's going to be worth even more. So things like that, 50 cents a piece in the bargain center. No chips, no cracks, absolutely perfect. But somebody didn't know what they had. The other antique item that I found is this old wooden bowl. Now I know you can find wooden bowls in the Goodwill sometimes that are remakes um, from other places. You can do crafts and things with them, but this one, this is the genuine article. It is old, it has a crack through it, which is probably why they put it in the bargain center thinking who's gonna want an old wooden bowl with a crack. But this baby would sell on eBay probably from anywhere from $30 to up to 100 sometimes I've seen people pay for them. And I have a collection of these old primitive antique bowls. And I have a good friend back in Ohio who collects absolutely gorgeous primitive antiques. And her whole cabin is just filled with them. It is like a dream come true. It should be in homes and gardens. I'm telling it's gorgeous. You know who I'm talking about, girl. And all she could say was, Oh, please, for me, don't paint it or do anything with it. And I giggled and said, oh, baby, this thing is staying the way it is. She's a beauty just like she is. It is perfect. It's perfect for the farmhouse look. I can set it out. I can put fillers in it for the holidays. I can stack it with the rest of my bowls. It, it, it was an absolute dream find for me. So there's another piece. So between my depression glass and this piece alone, I've more than paid for my haul. And it's going to look great in the house. Another antique piece I got. I don't know, maybe your grandma, mama, who knows? Somebody in your family used to have one of these. They're, they're the little hen nesting boxes. And I have a white one, a milk glass one, that I had picked up in a flea market, but I found this guy in the bargain center. $1.50 I paid for it. And believe me, they're worth a whole lot more than that. But to me, it's priceless because I now got a milk glass and I've got this clear glass, and I haven't seen a clear glass one. Um, looked for one, haven't found one, but he even has the paint still on his crest and his wobbles, so he is just perfect. No cracks, no chips, anything. So one more vintage piece added to my collection for $1.50. Most of the other items I bought because I'm going to do a lot of Christmas DIYs, and I found a lot of things that I want to create with those DIYs. One big thing I'm sure you can see in the back here is this lamp. And this lamp came from a Target store. Okay? Got a little lamp shade on the top, but I picked that up separate because we're going to do a DIY for Christmas with this. And if you crafters out there are thinking, huh, I bet I know what she's going to make, bet you do. Because once I get done with it and I'm able to attach this lampshade, this is going to turn into a snowman Christmas lamp. All I could see was snowman. I didn't see lamp. I saw snowman. So we are going to put this in a DIY, and I hope you join me when I do. It'll turn out great. I found these little guys. They kind of look like little butter knives. And the tag on them says $4.99, but they were red tag sale. So I paid $2.50 for them. And the reason I did is because on the back, these were bought from Dillard's, and the price tag says $28.50. I don't know who would pay $28.50 for these little butter knives, but they're cute as heck. They've got little sayings on the butter knife part. Um, you're the peanut to my butter. Mind over muffins, anything you can do, I can do butter, holy strawberries, we are in a jam. And then the bottom is very ornate and intricate and very pretty. And I saw those and I thought, I'm picking those up. Because I think I can do a little wall hanging where I attach these 
and turn them basically into little hooks where you can hang towels or cups or I don't know but I've got something in mind for these so we'll do these for DIY too because I think they're going to turn out great. I found old metal colanders. This one was a square one. I've never seen a square one but I thought that is so cute. That would make a great DIY farmhouse craft. I found other couple of uh, old colanders and this copper one. I think I'm going to end up using it as is, but I'm just going to put a gorgeous floral arrangement in it for Christmas and set it in the middle of my table for a centerpiece because a lot of people are going with coppers and silvers for their farmhouse look. I thought that would be just perfect. They make great planters for in the spring too to hang your plants from. So there's, there's a multitude of things you can do with those. I found brackets. Why do I like brackets? Well, if you DIY and you like to make shelves, these brackets are very expensive if you buy them new. These guys I found for a dollar a piece and they're super heavy metal and I just know I will use them on a shelf DIY at some point. I do a lot of shabby chic crafting. And if you are into shabby chic, you know that it takes a lot of lace and trim and ribbon. And I found this huge bag filled with all this gorgeous, ornate lace. And it's like um, knitted type of lace. So it would be even more expensive in the store. You can pay up to $6 a yard for this stuff. This whole bag was $4. You can't beat it. For a quarter, a whole bag full of little wooden letters. And I, they're just adorable. And I have um, a little vignette of old antique toys and things. And I keep it out all year long, but I really want to do it up fancy for Christmas. So I had some great ideas for some DIY Christmas projects with these letters. So for a quarter, a whole bag of wooden letters, why not? I found ribbons, I found little small lampshades, and the inside, it just pops right over top of the light bulb. It just fits right over top of the light bulb, so you can use it on any lamp. And I love to take these guys, they were only a quarter a piece, so four for a dollar. I love to take these and turn them into shabby chic little lampshades, and that way I can intertwine them, change them out for the seasons. If I wanna do them for Christmas, I can, and put them on a lamp and make it a Christmassy lamp. Um, a spring lamp. They're just so fun to have these little lampshades around to decorate and be able to change things out without buying a whole new lamp. A lid. An old lid. I paid a quarter for it. But you know what? When I saw this lid, I didn't see a lid. I saw a snowman and there's his button nose. So we will do a DIY on this and we will make an adorable, rustic, farmhouse-looking snowman with this old brown lid that I got for a quarter. I found these gorgeous. Well, I'll try to hold them up, but J-O-Y, and I've probably got it backwards for you on the camera. I don't know, but anyway, there's a J and O and a Y. And they are stocking hangers, and they are metal and very, very heavy, very heavy. And these are really expensive when you get them places like Pier One or Target or you know other retail stores. They can be very pricey, especially if you have to get them individually. Well, I got these three for a dollar a piece, so three dollars for this whole set. I can leave them silver, or I can gussy them up and make them look more farm farmhouse. But these will definitely go on my mantelpiece for this Christmas and I'll show you what I do with them in the future. This is nothing fancy, but you know everybody loves that little red truck for Christmas, and I found this cute little print. It says, have yourself a merry little Christmas at the bottom, and I don't like the frame, no big deal. Maybe I can use it for something, maybe not, but I love the print. So for a quarter, I picked it up, and I can use that print to decorate for Christmas, too.
This was one heck of a deal. I'm going to try to see if maybe on camera you can see that price. If not, it says $24.99. So at one time that tells me they had this in the regular part of the Goodwill store. But I found it in the bargain center and I was charged $2.50. And this tray is real silver is real it's very heavy it's very tarnished it doesn't look the greatest right now but i'm going to try tarnex on it and see what it looks like silver and see how i like it because i think this would make a fantastic tray for a little santa claus cookies vignette maybe uh we'll diy some hot cocoa cups and a little plate of cookies and a little cookie jar, but I think that would be so pretty for Christmas to set out for Santa Claus for his cookies and his milk. And you could use this at any time of the year for any kind of vignette that you wanted. But I just think it's beautiful and it was a great deal. Probably the ugliest little hat box I have ever seen. I mean, at one time, someone probably thought it was very pretty, but it's put together very well. It is very, very heavy and solid. It's not paper, and it has nice little inside here with ledges so that your top fits on really great. The only thing that was wrong with it was there's a little split here in the side, but this is covered in plastic, so I could easily fix that. I'm planning on recovering the whole thing and putting material and making it shabby. And whether I'm going to do it for Christmas or whether I'm going to do it so that it matches my Christmas and that I can put it in my bedroom maybe and use it for all year round because if you have a container, I'm a big one on containers, DIYing something that you can actually use and is beautiful is just all the better. And it was 50 cents. The other two things that I was really proud of were these candlesticks. And yes, I know you can find them easily, but these were also in the bargain bin, so they were about a dollar a piece. And this one here is metal. It probably weighs a good five pounds. It is really heavy. But I loved to do these up and decorate them and set them around for different holidays, different heights, different sizes, all in a grouping. And they just absolutely shine some beautiful light and make things look beautiful. And for a dollar a piece, it's a whole lot better than going out and spending a whole bunch of money on them. So these will be a DIY too. And the very last thing that I really wanted to share with you was the reason I had even stopped in there was because I was looking for some type of tray or something wooden that I could try to turn into a DIY sleigh, like an old sleigh or toboggan for Christmas. And, I, and I'd, I'd like to do it maybe, and I don't know if I will paint a saying on it or if I just want to hang a wreath on it. But I had kind of this thought in my mind of how I want to do it, and I saw this wooden tray, and I thought that it was the coolest thing because it curves here. And when I saw those curves, I thought, that's it. That's perfect. It looks like a, a little child's toboggan or sleigh because of the curves. And I'm not sure yet if I'm going to cut it out so that these look more like runners or if I'm going to make it look like a more modern sleigh for little children. But I don't know. I just know that this is what I was looking for and I'm going to use it. And for $2.50, oh, I'm going to have a really pretty sleigh when we get done DIY in this one. And last but not least, I want to tell you, don't overlook weird things at the Goodwill. Because this is the weirdest thing. It's an old flat mop. And it was half off tag so I got it for 99 cents what do I want an old flat mop for well maybe you've seen them maybe you haven't but a real big thing now is to make gnomes little stylish gnomes with the long beards the little nose the pointy hats and I saw this and I thought there's my beard for my gnome 
So we are going to DIY a little Santa Claus gnome for Christmas. And we're going to use this 99 cent flat mop that I found at the Goodwill. And I don't know how much flat mops are in the store, but I guarantee they're more than 99 cents. So I was really tickled about this. So don't overlook some of the little racks on the ends and, and odds and end things that you think that there's going to be nothing in there I can use. For DIYs, for crafting, there's a ton of stuff you can use. Think outside the box. Think outside the box and buy an old 50 cent pan. An old beat up pan that somebody's throwing away that you wouldn't want to cook with in your house because it's too beat up. But if you turn this thing around, you've got a hanger and you've got another perfect snowman face. And you can DIY the cutest little snowman for Christmas on there. And we're going to do that too. So, with that being said, I bought many more things. Um, I just don't want to make the video go on forever. But I'm so excited because almost all of these things that I bought at the bargain center, I bought to do Christmas DIYs with for you. Because I want, my goal is to teach everybody that you don't have to go out and buy expensive things for your home to make it look beautiful and gorgeous and upscale. You can do these things and you can do them on a dime. You can find things that no one else would think of. Just look at the object outside of the box. Look at the shape of the object. Think, you know, I know it's a pan, but what could you use that for besides a pan? What would be really cute? Well, some paint, some decoupage, some material, some creativity, and, and he's going to be the gorgeous little snowman you've ever seen. So, my goal is, is in hopes that, that I can show you, and give you, show you some ideas and give you some inspiration on how to turn nothing into something. How to take Goodwill Owl and turn it into Upscale Wow, if that makes sense. So I hope you loved this haul. I hope it gave you some inspiration and some ideas on the things that you can find to DIY with at the thrift stores. And I also hope that it gave you the idea in your head that not everything in the thrift stores is junk. You can find some really beautiful antique things. Merchandise that's worth a lot of money, whether you sell on eBay or you have a booth somewhere or you just want to have a, a yard sale, or you want to keep it for yourself. Collectible items, Corel wear, things like that. Don't hesitate to go into a Goodwill or a thrift shop because you never know what you might find. So, until we get into the DIYs with all of this merchandise, I hope you have a blessed day. And remember, keep it real, stay true, and always be uniquely you. Thanks for stopping by, everybody.